Oh, well, the first hassle of the day we travel is over there. There's a little peak, peak. Uh, they do the security for the baggage, your, uh, ca your um, check in baggage, and you're supposed to, s to look through this little hole in the wall to see whether your um, baggage has gone through, but I, I can't see it. I'm too short sighted to see it, so it's totally useless. I just have to assume that, um, that it went okay. So. <laughs> It's a crazy system. I mean, I'm not the only short-sighted person in this world, so I'm not, it's the only place I've ever struck that, where they ask you to have a look and make sure your your uh, checked luggage goes through, okay, through security. Oh, well, fingers crossed it's all right. That's, that's weird. I just finished the first leg of my four flights, one and a half hours from Ho Chi Minh to, uh, to Changi. And I uh, just wanted to go to the loo, and every single store was, is occupied. Weird. I don't know if that's actually right, but uh, you know, there's plenty of other options out here, but it's not a good start. And where's the next set of loos? This is the question. Down here, I think. Yes, yeah, so, so this is the shortest flight, the one and a half hour one, to be followed by my longest flight, which is from uh, here to Melbourne, which is insane, going the wrong direction, overshooting the mark, all because uh, Singapore Airlines, feeder airline Silk Air, bumped their prices up from uh, $600 a ticket to Cairns, directly to Cairns from here, to 1000 So. It's just annoying. It's a busy time of year. Hopefully, I have more luck with the loos here. Yeah, as soon as I got off the plane, I noticed that the, uh, the terminal saw it was much cooler. And I had to put my wind cheater on. So, uh, but on the flight itself, it was quite comfortable. I didn't have any need to wear it. So, Changi uh, terminal itself is quite quite nippy. Uh, trying to impress us with their aircon, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's pretty busy. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a haul getting back. It's, it's just the first of four flights, the big one coming up. And then uh, so that's over seven hours to get to Melbourne at about six o'clock in the morning. And then uh, I've got two flights to get back to Cairns. But I've got to wait till 11, a little, I think 10 past 11 for the first of those two flights. So that's a bit of a drag. And uh, I won't keep getting back until a little after five. Only major advantage of that is just don't, don't have to listen to all the uh, infants screaming next door because that'll be the end of the craze for the week. So that's good timing in that respect. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of travel by air. Now, this is the big one coming up. Once this one's gone, then the other two flights are about two hours duration each. So that's not too bad. Uh, a bit short on seats here. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people waiting for the next flight. And the long haul flight commences very soon. Yeah, they actually, um, they, the, the numbering on this is weird. Like, I, I'm in number 45, but it hasn't got it up on the. Uh, oh, it's got a really small n numbers there. I couldn't so see it. But there's these big ones, big numbers, and then. Every alternate one has got these obscure numbers. It's a bit, a bit rough, especially on someone with crappy eyes like so me. So, it's designed to make life hard. But anyway, I'm on board. So, get this one out of the way, and most of the travel's out behind me, which will be good. So, there's Chengi at night. Uh, oh, well, hopefully, I'll get back to good old Sudan sometime soon. It looks like this is going to leave on time, not that it matters, it could be late as far as I can so I'm getting in at 6am, next flight's 11, so who is it time? Uh, doesn't really concern me, 
Look, uh, they've got, yeah, they've got ads on board. I want to get this, this the flight map. Oh, the other curious thing is the coup with that flight from Saigon. They didn't go through the normal um, safety uh, instructions. I've never struck that before. They said something, they mumbled stuff, but it didn't actually come through a PA. It was a proper Jetstar flight. It was a smaller craft, but it was still you know, Jetstar livery and everything. But there was no, um, no safety blurb. I've never struck that. Even Air Asia does that. Yeah. They did actually instruct people in the exit row ahead of me though, so yeah, it just wasn't as normal. Not that I really care, because I've heard it many times anyway. Yeah, it took a while to get out of the uh, plane in Melbourne. Not that it mattered for me, because I've got plenty of time for my next flight. But uh, yeah, you could feel the cold, but um, it was quite nippy just walking through the air bridge. So, uh, I'd be happy to get back up north ASAP. It's about, it's about 7 o'clock now. Uh, yeah, it took a long time for to get out of the plane. Yeah, some people that were, um, there's some passengers from Phuket, apparently their luggage didn't get through on the, the connection, connecting flights, so that'd be a pain in the ass for them. So hopefully my luggage made it all the way here. I'll find out soon enough. First priority does get my duty for gym. I think we went right around the city too. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a window seat, but I think they, uh, the plane skirted just around the CBD before it came in for a landing. It could have been quite good. I did that once before for the third. You know, it's just... Hopefully the auto uh, machines for passport to be up soon. We'll get a lot out of the way. Well, you can tell we're not in T4, we've actually got uh, travel loaders. There's a passenger down, but uh, I took a window seat by mistake. I thought I had one, foolishly. And she's in a bit of a hurry, I think. No stress on my behalf, huh? But, uh, Seriously wonder who actually organised the numbering on this place. You've got all those ones there, right? One, four, five, six. And you go down there and you've got some, like two here, and they've hidden three back there. It's okay if you've uh, got decent eyesight. It took me a while to find it. It's just unbelievable. Well, at least my luggage is here, so that's something. But the people selling the gin, they put the price up. I think it was 25 bucks when I first started buying duty free just a couple of years ago and it's up to 32 and um, they don't even provide little protectors around they have to run out of them you know it's pretty basic they have those little lattice work protectors to make sure you don't break you know because people are going to be putting in their luggage like I'm doing it's pathetic I'm going to be waiting a while but look at the crowd here jeez Oh boy. Then again, I'm not in a rush, so don't. No need for me to stress. I have never seen the line this long. This part, right down the boom docks where the, uh, uh, the carousels are for the luggage. And it got the snakes all the way down that way. It's ridiculous. Well, there must be about 10 planes that come in at once or something. It's absurd. I just came across total wanker bureaucrat. Uh, I opened up a new line because I had so many people going through, it was ridiculous. And my card had just been slightly torn, it was quite legible, no problems about all that stuff. But he, he sent me back through this, I think he said, yo, you have to fill out another, another form, which is total BS as it turned out, because I showed it to two other people there, they had no problem with it at all, just waved me through. Just petty bureaucrats, unbelievable. Hang on, I've got to work out how to get to domestic 
checking because I don't want to be going outside in Melbourne weather. Look at that. It's the last thing I want to do. There's a sign up ahead here. I can't get to see it till this comes out. Of so many people here. It's just unbelievable. So crowded. I want to get back to Cairns. Ah, uh, here we go. What's this? No, I don't want that one. They missed. And. Well, that says domestic there. Oh, this could be it here. Fingers crossed. This is where Qantas domestic is. Check in. Departures. Yep. Hopefully, this is fine. It's like both toilets in this area are both being cleaned at the same time. And they're taking their time to do it. First of the two flights today, but I think I'm going to miss the second flight because this flight is over an hour late, probably an hour and 20 minutes late, which means I was asked to go on a boarding and he said, oh, if you miss this, that flight, uh, we'll put you on another flight if there is one. Great, I may not even get home tonight thanks for this delay. So this is the worst ever. And it really, it's just when I get home, it's such a long trip. It didn't seem to be any urgency getting people on the plane. It wasn't in the right place. I had to move at the end of the day. And then the boarding process is so protracted. It's just ridiculous. Uh, Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give, do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.